Hi everyone! I'm here with another small little art journal flip for you. Um, this is a book I've had for a very long time. Sorry about the glare. Um, I got it from my aunt many, 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 many years ago. It's just uh, blank pages. And I never knew what to do with it. But uh, anyway, I've had it for a very long time and I decided just recently to start using it as uh, a little mini art journal. And the plan is to cover up this cover because I hate it. It's disgusting. It's really just ugly, ugly, ugly. So anyway, let's take a quick look inside. Again, this is mostly just backgrounds. Hardly anything is really completed here. Um, I just did this today. And this is... Uh, this is Inktense pencils. And then this side is watercolor crayons and little Inktense pencils and some tissue paper and washi tape. And this is watercolor crayons. And just uh, some uh, advertising picture. This is Distress Stains and some paper I made from some leftover tissue paper that I sprayed with Dilution ink. Uh, distress Paints with tissue paper and a stamp. Sorry, that's my phone. <laughs> um, more Distress Stains tissue paper and a number stamp. Uh, these are more distress paints, more distress stains, washi tape, tissue paper because I didn't like that color, and a stamp. Uh -oh, it's coming off. I just put this down today. Everything has beauty but not everyone sees it by Confucius. I love dragonflies. And I wasn't too happy with the coloring on this page. It was done with gelatos, so I was happy to find something to cover it up with. More distress stains, I think. And another piece of tissue paper that I colored to help cover up that ugly brown. And yeah, I don't know what this is, probably watercolor pencil. And another advertising image. It seemed to go well with it. More distress stains. And I love this poppy napkin. And then I have a flower stamp here. And these are gelatos. And that flower stamp again. More distress stains and a napkin. More gelatos. They're the metallic kind, so they're shimmery. I think this is watercolor pencil, though. I mean crayon. And here's watercolor and a uh, napkin and this pretty bird stamp. Some more watercolor with some uh, tissue paper on it with sparklies. You can see the sparkles. Uh, this is an interesting uh, little experiment that I liked. Um, I gessoed this page and then I put distress stains over it and they turned out kind of cloudy, but I like that effect. And then here's a little bit of tissue paper. More watercolor with tissue paper and a stamp. Here's another paper that I, uh, I mean page that I gessoed first and then put um, like watercolor pencils down and there's these great puddling effects like up here and everywhere. Really like this page. And here's just watercolor on, um, or is it gelatos? It's kind of sparkly so I'm thinking gelatos but I'm not sure. <laughs> With tissue paper and some stamps.
more watercolor. Some more watercolor, but again it's shimmery, so I'm thinking it could be the pearlescent watercolors, but I'm not sure anymore. Uh, paint markers, acrylic paint markers on both these pages. Uh, this uh, page I posted on Instagram after I did it. It's just uh, watercolor pencils that I did in this design that just popped into my head. And here's, uh, I think there's some more watercolors with uh, tissue paper and some washi tape that I really don't like, so I'm trying to use it up. More watercolors and the bird stamp. Here's the gelatos again. And, uh, Lesson ones and a butterfly stamp, acrylic inks, no acrylic paints. Sorry, inks, paints. It all starts to blur after a while. <laughs> um, and there's a kind of a cool effect here. I had so much paint down that it was going to take forever to dry, so I dabbed at it with a tissue and then picked up the yellow paint and then I went over it with the red and you can, I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, but you can see remnants of it here as I dabbed the yellow from the tissue and it created some interesting patterns. Here again is a gessoed page that I used the distress stains over and it gave this really cool clouded effect. And then this page I absolutely love. Uh, the page was gessoed first and then I used the Liquitex acrylic inks which are very watery and very pigmented and uh, put this uh, greenish color in magenta and then sprayed water and let it drip down. And did the same with the gold. I love this gold. And some of the gold got over here when I closed the book, and it wasn't totally dry. And I just love that. So these are like two of my favorite pages right here. Just absolutely gorgeous. And here's two more gessoed pages that I did uh, watercolor pencils over, or maybe ink tents, I'm not sure. And I just recently added these uh, napkin images here, and they're really nice. I love the effect here. Again, I, you know, used a spray bottle and just let the stuff, the, you know, color run where it wanted to go. More distress paints and stains. Uh, more watercolor crayons. Uh, I think... <laughs> I don't know. I know I sprayed this, so that's why it looks... It has all these wonderful runny drippage bits in here. It looks like crayon that I watered down. Same thing with this side. But I'm not positive. Um, looks like watercolor crayon, but I'm not sure. And with a stamp here. And these are two more of my favorite, favorite pages. Again, with gesso and then watercolor pencils or ink tense pencils. Again, I'm not positive. Could be either way, but uh, sprayed and let to drip and and run and do whatever they wanted to. Get a great mixing of colors and great effects that way. It's just regular watercolor on the the paper itself, so you don't get that same effect. Same here. And some tissue paper and some butterfly stamps again. Love these. Love. Love. Again, gessoed and then watercolor or ink tense pencils on top. Probably just watercolor. 
and I love this stuff going on in here. Look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, so pretty. Just gorgeous. And more watercolor in the bird stamp and watercolor in the butterfly stamp again. An acrylic ink just uh, put on over a gessoed page with a credit card and the number stamp down here. More watercolor and some tissue paper put on there. Another pretty drippage page probably with watercolor pencils over gesso and then a couple rubber stamps that we've seen before. I really love this black over the pink and yellow. And this is another real favorite page. It's just um, watercolor put over the ungessoed page. And then I was applying gesso probably the, to this page. And it was on the edge of the credit card. And so I just put that down and created these cool little, little stripes. And I really love this. Love the color and the white on there. I just did this page recently and I oh, adore the colors that came out. Again, the page was gessoed, did all the drippage with the extra water. And it's just gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. And then this is just regular watercolor with that butterfly stamp again. Uh, this was gessoed and I cannot remember what I put on here. It feels like watercolor crayon, but I'm not sure. And this is just watercolor over here. Another gessoed page with probably watercolor crayon or ink tents or whatever. And I tried to do some drippage here. Eh, it's not as good as the other ones. And then this is more watercolor pencil, and this is a little bit of acrylic paint that I had left over from another page. I just slapped on there. Uh, more watercolor with some napkins on there, just little bits that I have left over. And I really like this page, even though it's not one of the gessoed ones. Um, I just love this black with the, the pink and the, the red and the orange. Really pretty color combination. Hope the camera's picking that up right. And here's the last page, another gessoed one with watercolor pencil. And again, these beautiful patterns. Let me get this a little closer. Gorgeous, gorgeous patterns in there with the blue and the purple. So I still have to do this back inside cover. But that's it. As you can see, nothing is finished in this yet, but um, I'm going to be working on it, figuring out what all I'm going to do with this. But at least the backgrounds are done. So uh, until next time, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.